Today was a very exciting day. It's uh, so gratifying to see people from all over the world really come together and want to solve a problem that threatens our planet. To see the passion in the room today and hear people talk about so passionately solving this issue for the greater good it was really, really rewarding. This water prize is not just about phosphorus. It's about clean water. It's about transforming we, the way we solve one of the humanity's greatest challenges, is how to secure fresh water to the future generations. Well, I was uh, very pleased to see the number of scientists who could communicate their passion and their vision to a broad audience, to lots of people. And when we have people this smart, this dedicated, this articulate working on this, we're going to make a difference. It is uh, our privilege to introduce the Stage 1 $25,000 winner to Quinsys. Well, uh, phosphorus has got an ambiguous nature. So on one hand, it's seen as a pollutant and as a waste that needs to be removed. But on the other hand, it's a nutrient. It needs to be uh, gotten back, you know. We need it. It's there in our genes. And without phosphorus, we cannot grow food. So this dual nature of phosphorus, I found this very, very interesting. So that's what made me take up this challenge. It's another opportunity for us to move the ball forward. The Everglades Foundation, founded by the late George Barley and Paul Jones, they, they, they we're solution-oriented. That's what makes this organization so special. We see a problem, we understand it needs to be tackled, and we're putting not only resources behind it, but our own efforts to engage a partnership, to engage a community. We're excited what the future holds.